guys, welcome back to the channel. There's a huge audience that own these scooters. Now, Adam, he owns the Ice Bear 50 Vision scooter. He purchased this about three to four years ago, but he also throws out tips. He has actually a Facebook page, right? Right. And what's it called? MacGyver's Shop. MacGyver's Shop on Facebook. So he throws out a lot of free tips, you guys, on Facebook. So, you know, you can throw him a coffee on maybe, I, I don't know, do you have a Patreon or anything like that or a, a PayPal? Okay, well, maybe soon he'll have one of those. So he loves to help people out and throw out some basic tips. But again, he's a busy guy, so he can only do so much, but keep that in mind. We have his scooter on the lift and he wants to throw out some tips to a lot of you owners out there. You don't have to take your scooter to your dealer. You can do some basic checkups just to keep the longevity up, keep the performance up, keeping it riding nice and smooth. We'll start with the transmission. So basically it's eight millimeter bolts all the way around. Some of you guys have uh, eight bolts. Some of us have nine bolts. This is a long case. It's got nine bolts. The short case has eight bolts. So what you do is just unbolt everything. Make sure to put your brackets back and then pull out the, uh, the bolts. The longer one goes on the bottom here. So if you feel like putting them in order, you can. I just like to throw them around usually, but for the video, I'll do this. Okay, let me let me stop you here for a second. So there's long case and there's short cases. So your scooter, it's a QMB 139, but it's a long case. Right. And it has nine bolts, right, that secure the cover on the transmission. Correct. All right, so this is the Vision, Ice Bear Vision 50. Now go ahead, Adam. Okay, you pull it off. Your okay. Fendix here will either do what mine just did or just stay in place. But what I usually like to do is when I take the uh, cover off, go ahead and take everything out. Okay, so not everybody at home knows what the Bendix gear is. So this is called the Bendix gear on the 49 cc's. Correct. Because the 50s don't have this particular, I mean the 150s don't have this typical Bendix where it's positioned, correct? Right, and it's inside the motor if it does. Correct. So what does this do, that so Bendix? What this does is it, uh, when the starter activates, this comes out twist like this and engages the teeth on the on the on this gear. Okay, so what they should inspect that and make sure it's what? Is it lubed there at the tip or what? Um, basically what we all like to do is uh, when we're servicing your scooter is uh, we go ahead and clean this inside and out, put a little bit of lube in there like white lithium grease and then you do the same thing here just to make sure everything's all loose. And then you put a little bit of grease here and in the pinhole. Okay. Also, put a little bit of grease right here and on your gears on here. Okay, all right. So, very important because I've noticed that some customers will call them and say that their starter hesitates when they're, and this has a lot to do with this. This or the battery. Or the battery, but, so this should be inspected periodically. Correct. And you guys at home, this is simple. As you just saw Adam, he removed it. You can inspect this. It's You're not digging too deep into this. It's a simple thing to do just to keep your transmission running smooth. What else? So basically uh, what we like to do is we like to pull this off the uh, clutch belt and then pull the clutch off, which you gotta squeeze the belt to get a little loose to, Correct. to make it uh, come off easy for you. We created a few videos already on deep into how to remove the clutch, how to remove the variator. This is the fan and how to replace your belt, clean out the area and service it. So, but you guys don't need to do that at home. What Adam's doing is just some real basic stuff. So when, when you remove the cover, you're inspecting, you're looking how the belt wears, correct? Correct. If you see if any cracks or anything, it should be replaced. This, my belt still looks good. Okay. All right. And long case belt, what belt does your scooter take then it takes a 729 1830 or a 723 1830 okay so the long cases have a different belt the shorter cases generally are taking the 669 1830 correct all right what else can they do here in the back here so they removed it, it looks good they could maybe clean it up a little bit spray some what parts cleaner in there parts cleaner carburetor cleaner you can do the same thing in here okay so you clean it up a little bit and put your cover back on and then what else i think inspecting uh doing the brakes you want to make sure you adjust your brakes properly okay so this is a cable brake so the left side of the handlebar on the scooters you guys that operates it's a cable drum brake in the back all right so 
This is the adjustment, you guys. And what size is this nut here? It's a 14 millimeter. I like to use a socket to uh, twist that. If you guys can't twist it with your fingers, you can stick a, a socket wrench on it and just twist it. All right, so you're going to adjust it clockwise to tighten up the brake, correct? Correct. All right, so this is another area you should inspect. Also, you should be inspecting your shock mounts, right? Correct, just make sure they're tight and make sure your shocks aren't leaking. Okay, you notice that on Adam's vision, he has dual shocks. A lot of the 49cc slash 50s, you guys, have that single mono shock. So you're gonna be checking your mount. So you guys, again, DIY. This is stuff you can do. This is definitely important. Keeps up the condition of your scooter, the performance, uh, what else? So uh, the other thing is your air filter. So basically I've got a pod filter on it, but this is what comes stock on the scooters. Okay. So Just make sure it's clean. What, what Adam did is, you wanna grab one of those uh, air boxes. Air boxes. So what Adam did is, this is typical, you guys, most of you at home, you have this typical air box on your scooter. It's a stock air box. So what Adam has done, he's removed this and he went straight with a uni filter. This is a uni filter. That's a brand actually, but it's a air sock, right? Correct. And as Element. You can, as you can see, uh, those come with stickers, so. Okay, so there's other brands out there. You guys don't have to use this brand. And what size is the uh, mount on this? For which one? For the mount, for the uni, where it oh, attaches it's a, to your carburetor. It's an inch and a half. So that's an inch and a half, you guys. So if you're out there looking for a similar air filter, direct mount, you remove this, then you can get an inch and a half. And then what else are we checking here? So basically we're checking our uh, fuel filter. This okay. one's mine, it's just dirty on the outside. And what are you checking for? We're checking just to make sure it's got enough gas flow going through it. Mine has a, a, a vacuum pump underneath the gas tank, so. Okay. I check that priority uh, regularly. All right. All right, so we're gonna work our way here to the front. Again, DIY, you guys. What else should they check here? So you should be checking your brake line after a year, and then also checking your brake pads, making sure- All right, good. so from time to time, you're gonna inspect your front brakes. Okay, so we moved to the other side here where your Speedo's at, you guys. So Adam's gonna throw some additional tips to you guys at home. So basically, if your boot's ripped up here for your shocks and it's leaking, it's time to replace your whole front fork. But uh, mine aren't leaking. Mine have a good covering on them still after three years. But uh, now we're gonna move to the Speedo area of this side. You wanna take this off at, and grease it every once in a while and also grease your uh, grease or put graphite in your Speedo cable area. What else should we be looking for? Anything else here? On the, now we got your battery over here. What should they be doing with their battery from so time to time? Basically, you want to make sure that your battery is staying fully charged. Check up on the voltage. Or what you can do is add a voltmeter to your scooter okay. and hook it up to your ignition and your battery. Well, a lot of the folks at home have their liquid acid. Now you have a true gel, so you recommend trading out their standard acid, liquid acid battery with a gel battery, correct? G gel or uh, the li new lithium ones. Lithium ones, okay. All right, anything else here? Um, make sure all your bolts are nice and tight along the whole bike. Uh, check your tire pressure every once in a while. Make sure you're... Uh, what is generally tire pressure on these scooters? What are they generally from what, 32 to 36? 32 to 41 sometimes. All right, so 32 to 41 depends on the size of the tire, correct? Correct. Okay, and then of course, obviously, checking your oil, like an Adams scooter. It's the QMB 139 motor. This is your oil fill right here, you guys. And then it's your oil check. And how often should they check their oil? So basically- Like every maybe third fill up? Third, fourth. Okay. It just depends. Right. Mine, right. Mine's always good. It's nice and clean. Okay, all right. Okay, you guys, so that concludes. This is a, a little DIY for you guys at home that own these. A couple of last tips here on the spark plugs, you guys. What size are we looking at here? This is a 5.16 or 5.8 or 16 millimeter. It all, some of them will say 16 millimeter okay. or the other one. And the spark plugs we recommend are the NGK or any other good brand you guys out there. It's generally the CR7 HSA on the NGK. You can cross-reference that if you want to choose a different brand, but get a good brand. And then, of course, your spark plug. 
would be located right in front of the motor. That is where my finger is at, where my coil is at. Okay, you can see that up there where his hand's at, you guys. So, there Make you sure to hand tighten it back in there with the, uh, the socket. Uh huh. Because if you uh, put it in there and it cross threads, you're going to be needing a new head. Okay, so then they put the new one on that you should hand thread it in first Correct. and then tighten it with the socket you guys so good tip so many people out there end up cross threading it and that becomes definitely more work to fix so all right adam so it was macgyver's shop on facebook Correct. you guys and i will drop that link below so you guys can go directly to that or just type in MacGyver shop on Facebook. You'll find him. And I just had, had a spell of my last, which is my last name is M-C-I-V-E-R, not M-C-G-I. All righty. And uh, we'll catch you on the next video. See ya.